All right, so in this problem, we want to evaluate the expression, and we are given the value of c. And in our expression, we have the variable c that we're going to plug in 3, 4 and solve for the expression. So in our numerator of our first fraction, we are going to plug in 3 instead of c. And in our denominator, we have 13 minus 9. Minus our second numerator, which is 3 instead of c, 9 plus 3 in our denominator. All right, so in our first fraction, we have 3 divided by 13 minus 9, which gives us 4, minus 3 divided by 9 plus 3, which gives us 12. All right, now before we subtract these two fractions together, we can take a look at our second fraction over here and simplify it. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 3, because both are divisible by 3. And so we are left with 3 divided by 4, 3 fourths, as our first fraction. And our second fraction is 1 fourth because 3 divided by 3 gives us 1, and 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. All right, so now it's going to be a lot simpler for us to solve this subtracting fractions problem because we have common denominators. So all we have to do is subtract our numerators, 3 minus 1, which gives us 2, and we keep our same denominator, which is 4. All right, now we have to simplify this fraction and we can do so by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2 because both are equally divisible by 2 and we are left with 1 half. Now all of our answers are written in decimal form so we need to convert this half into a decimal and that is going to be 0 0.5. So our answer for this problem is going to be D or 0 0.5.